I do think we should take it seriously. Uh, you know, in the past, there's been a lot of bluster and a lot of threats. But with the previous head of the Russian Space Agency, Roscosmos, um, Dmitry Rogozin, was uh, he liked to do that, you know, and, and, and so it was hard to take him seriously. And often he would say all kinds of outlandish things, either on Twitter or in, in the public that would never be backed up by actual action on the part of the Russian Space Agency. And so so in the past, it was easy to dismiss these things. But this is different. This is a new leader. Uh, it was after a direct consultation with Putin. And so I do think that this carries a little bit more weight. It's also the other thing that's different about it is it's not saying that we're going to withdraw immediately. It's saying we're, we're going to withdraw in, in uh, 2024. So it's a bit more managed. The ISS was designed to be completely interdependent or, or dependent um, uh, uh, on both sides. So you, neither the Russian side or the American side could, uh, could function without the other. So the Russian side is completely dependent on the American side for electrical power. The American side is completely dependent on the Russian side for propulsion, uh, both for attitude control, uh, for maneuvers, and for desaturating our, our gyroscopes. It's not going to be easy uh, or cheap uh, to, to replace all the Russian capability with American capability in, in only two years. But I do think it's possible. I think it's something we should have been doing from the moment uh, they crossed the border into, into Ukraine. Uh, I think we should have seen this coming. And I do think that there's been some effort. But again, it's been at a low level and, and kind of behind the scenes in order to avoid antagonizing the Russians and disrupting this, this partnership. Uh, but I think that the time is now to do it with haste.